just going to start recording. Why not? There you go. <laughs> Coffee place. Oh, really? When they asked my name, I said zero. zero. <laughs> yeah. well, that was my old dog's You're like name. Carry only. <laughs> it carries well in a room when it, you know. Yeah. They say Tommy. Mm -hmm. I don't even hear it, but they say zero. It's yeah. like yeah. <laughs> oh, aren't those cool? Those are fantastic originals. Yeah. And then my friend Michael Doherty gave me this. He signed it too. Neat. And I always love this poster. That is a great poster. Yeah, I thought this was one of my favorites back in the day. Yeah, I, you know, it does its best to imitate 3D without having the actual 3D. Yeah, no, it was. It, I I saw that so many times in Westwood I, I, when it came out, <laughs> and then this this one's original too. Yeah, is that you up there? That's me. <laughs> so yeah, for my 50th birthday, uh, my factory made this com complete with my bald head. <laughs> I tried to I tried to sell them on um, using this for you know the the la last Halloween trilogy, but uh, use you know start a start a franchise with that. <laughs> that's the bad guy. It would have been mm -hmm. scarier. <laughs> Anthony put together some of our H3 products, mm -hmm. and you know we recently purchased On Post Studios. Wow! Yeah, so that's we a coup. Recovered, we recovered all the original stone molds and the um, toolings. So there's uh, going to be some really cool. That's fantastic. Stuff coming up with the skull witch and pumpkin. Yeah, wow. here's some of our this, morning three stuff. This is uh, the show we just did. Several people were sporting these. That's the thing you were telling me about. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Ever since, uh, well, when I saw this, I mean, it says, oh, want one. And, <laughs> and when I saw the Ouija board, I said, holy shit, I've got to have one of those. Look at this. And look at the inside. The detail. Ooh. Isn't that great? The book that I wrote, I was hoping to put something in the, in the fly leaf. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's just blank paper but maybe in another edition I can put something like yeah, this yeah yeah ah that reminds me remind me before you leave and then this does oh, oh wow oh oh this <laughs> actually in all of trick-or-treat studios this is the only one that I actually make a tiny little bit of money on. <laughs> because of the sound. So, yeah, because of the music. Ladies and gentlemen, buy the fuck out of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because of that. Isn't that funny? Hey, these are nice. Thanks. Look at that. So yeah, we, we just did a deal with Universal to enforce the license of the Skull Witch and Pumpkin, because as you know, they were Don Post's originals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the 60s, it was funny too, because you know, they just assumed that they owned it because it was in the movie. And it's like, mm, it wasn't the deal yeah, Don made. Not the deal. No. Yeah. As a matter of fact, it was a big coup on Deborah's part because even though two and a half million dollars seemed incredible after Halloween at yeah. 300000 it wasn't. Yeah. By the time we were making the movie, it was serious low budget. So she was watching every penny. And yeah. the deal she made with Don was... We can, we can have all the masks we want, we can use your factory, everything, and you retain the rights. That's, did, did you hear that, Universal Studios? That's, <laughs> that's, that's from, a fact. I got it. Yeah, uh, yeah Don. I got the deposition from, that. Uh, from Don on yeah. the, I don't know whether it was phone call or a text, but we were conversing. Yeah. And he confirmed that. Look at that. You can have any of this stuff. Wow, no lie. Let me just let me go get my. Big bag of this. We'll tell you out. <laughs> I know he wants one of these because he, he he told me about it this weekend. I'm, I'm lusting about that. No worries. This yeah. uh, the wrapping. The this paper. is a different wrapping paper than the one that. Uh, yeah, we have that's another the one. one. Yeah, we did two. Yeah, yeah. That, the little ones are the one that uh, I know about. I didn't know about the big one. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But here I'll I'll show you the around the warehouse. My new best friend. So this is like the original Silver Shamrock Novelties creator going to the real Silver Shamrock Novelties. You know, and I, I mean, seriously, that's what, that's what was kind of cool about this idea of doing this, yeah. you know? Come on, stay here. Stay here. You need to know where is special processing. 
Yeah. Yeah. Where Where do you keep the the uh, stone engines? Thing is in is in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is there a, so our a living room set with a television sitting in the uh, middle? Yeah. A test room. Yeah. A rattlesnake well, boiled up in the corner. At the end, I'll show you the pieces of stone edge. <laughs> Where the demons dwell and the banshees live, yeah, and they do live well. Wow! Well, <laughs> so it's it's today the um, the warehouse staff is off. So sorry for the lack of action, but normally it is. It's actually quite, nice. Quite jamming. Actually, here. I like it this way, yeah. and it's definitely spooky. We've got five other locations as well. No, really. Really. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. What are they? Just like whole warehouses to hold product, or so. Um, so Mexico, there's a sales office and of course manufacturing, and then we have um, Maryland is accounting and finance, and then Dallas, Los Angeles design centers, and then Salem is the packaging and marketing. Wow. So here I'll, I'll show you all, all all the spooky stuff. So. This is from the Munsters. That's <laughs> Lily. <laughs> Here's, uh, of course, one of many Chuckies you will see. The uh, at the at the con we were just at, some guy had a remote Chucky on a tricycle. Oh yeah, awesome! <laughs> <laughs> it was probably mine. <laughs> this is Herman, of course. Yeah. This is where we keep our wrapping paper, which is actually a really successful category. I, yeah. yeah, when I saw it, uh, the Halloween three wrapping paper, I just why? Yeah, yeah, we're getting that. Are you that serious? Too. Yeah, you'll take that home. You'll love it. Yeah, yeah I mean, people use it year round, and um, the Dungeons and Dragons wrapping paper sells a lot to uh, like gaming stores because they use it for gift wrapping. Yeah, you know who this guy is. Looks familiar. <laughs> OG Myers one. Yeah. Let me see that. The dead might be looking in to sit by our fire and turn. Halloween. The festival of Sauron. The last great one took place three thousand years ago on the hills. Believe it or not. I don't have. You don't have a Myers mask? No. Do now. Remember when we were going to do a special edition? <laughs> well, let's just, here, look, we'll, we'll, we'll put it aside that yeah, we don't have the crinkling the whole time. Yeah. yeah. No, remember when we did the special Halloween threes with my. Oh, author. yeah, yeah, the, the silver shamrock or silver champagne novelties. Right. Yeah. We, oh, those were great. You made uh, those. Yeah. We were about to do. A shape mask. That's right. We were. And, uh, Darren Roberts sculpted it. Yeah, yeah with Darren. Never, uh, and now Darren works with you guys. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool how that works out? Yeah. This is the Chucky amulet. Uh -huh. Yeah, we got great references of this from um, David Kirshner. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's one of the nicest human beings you'll ever meet. Yeah. Just a sweetheart. Light up pumpkin. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Of Halloween one. This is insane, right? That all the stuff that you guys made has now become this huge business. No idea in the whole wide world ever. <laughs> we knew we knew two things, that we'd made a scary movie. What is that? Oh, Eddie? Eddie? Made nice. Yeah. That we'd made a good quality scary movie and that somewhere somebody would probably enjoy it. Yeah. That was as far as it went. We I've, had I've no Idea. I've asked Erwin, like, can you believe that you're getting like ginormous royalties still for a picture that you did in 1970, you know, eight? He's like, I, I can't, I was happy that we broke even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 See, so I keep waiting for Blackwater's of Echo's Pond to suddenly take off. It's, it's no. coming, man. <laughs> no, it's, it's not. Coming. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it uh, isn't. It's the Book of the Dead, and <laughs> it, it comes with. All the pages. Oh, wow. Isn't that great? That is nice. You haven't seen that? I didn't seen it before. Yeah, it's really cool. Wow. It, it, is it all like replicas of Tom Sullivan's of art? The or? Of all the pages, yeah. It's really Were cool. they like recreated or were recreated. they scanned? Recreated. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Sam Hurst did a really good job on this. Here's nice. our Frankenstein purse. Very cool. Yeah, we're cool. doing a lot more of these types of purses and accessories. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, vintage. Go all the way back. Well, that's that's the fun stuff. Oh, get the girls involved, you know? Absolutely. Phantom. Nice. Isn't that cool? 
What else have we got here? Ah, you can't live without a Judith Myers tombstone purse. <laughs> Sandy Johnson for signing the hell out of those. Wow, well, yep. that's cool. That. that is amazing. Yeah, I think Darren gave us the file for this. Well, Darren sculpted the, yeah, the, 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 the replica. The replica tombstone, yeah. yeah. You know, I think Randy Moore finally sold the original. To who? I don't know. Somebody. What was it made out of? Styrofoam. Styrofoam, okay. Yeah, I learned uh, on Assault on Precinct 13. Another one of Irwin's films. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I uh, worked with some really good set painters, and they showed me the trick. You take styrofoam, and you take a solution of lacquer thinner that's been thinned down, mm -hmm. and then you just sponge it on carefully, and it eats slightly into the styrofoam. Which so is what you want. Exactly. Yeah. Suddenly it's looking like stone, like a tombstone. Awesome. And Randy and I were both graphic designers, so get out your exacto knife and carve those letters. We should give Erwin a buzz before you leave. <laughs> I talk to him all the time. I mean, yeah. literally, yeah, it'd, we're it'd like great. family friends. It'd be great to say hello, yeah. actually. We'll do that. I'll, uh, yeah. We're going to see him in a few months at Here's Pasadena. Our, That's our, right, in Pasadena. Our, 12 inch, yeah. that's from part five. I'd show mine, but I want this to be kid friendly. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got? Oh, these are the Kandarian daggers from Evil Dead. Evil Dead. This is the H4. So this is really cool, because um, Malik and Ryan, you know, opened up the doors for us for Halloween four and Halloween five, which was very cool. And I, I I've known Malik since I was a kid, but because I used to go over to Irwin's house and Mustafa would come over and he'd bring them and we'd hang out and play in the backyard. I told him, he's like, really? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, yeah. More purses. These are from Trick or Treat. Huh. Yeah, another great. If you're bored, let me know, but if you want, I'll take you down all the aisles. <laughs> Every aisle. All right, every aisle no, it I'm is. Just, I'm just kidding. Show, Don't get, show them the highlights. Give me the highlights. All right, well. well that's a highlight right there. A highlight. You know, we only originated, for the movie, we only originated ah, cool. one mask. It was the pumpkin. Yeah, Smiling Jack. This was on, sort of on the drawing board when we walked in the door. I, that was actually a continuation of that budget story was that we couldn't afford to start from scratch and yeah. design three masks. Yeah. Script, which was still, at that point, we were still working with Nigel Neal's script. It didn't describe them at all, it just said three masks. Mm. And uh, so I saw the skeleton on the skull on the shelf and said, okay, there's one. Yep, you know. 1967 uh, skull. Yeah. skull. Yeah. And this is came the Hagatha. Came in three versions. That's right. Red, the green, glowed, and white. Glowed in the dark. Yep. And, uh, and this was the Hagatha. Suggested, he suggested that this was, because at that point they were they were getting close to he, he had suddenly decided he wanted to expand a bit. Yeah. And uh, then we designed the jack-o'-lantern together. Yeah. I have an original one. Awesome. Oh, you, know, you have the original Hagatha still? He, he does have one of the original ones, so yeah. they were vinyl, so that thing will never rot out, right? No, this one was, no. Oh, that, that, that was latex. That was latex. Is it in pretty yeah. good shape? His skull is in perfect shape. Yeah, yeah. they that, cast those. Well, that one... That was vinyl. That was vinyl. Yeah. yeah. Sean yeah. Uh, fixed them up for me. Yeah. Years ago. Yeah. Well, that's how, that's when we met. Yeah, true, yeah. Wolfman ornament. Oh, nice. Isn't that cool? A, an ornament? Yeah. So we wow. call it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are our... Uh, our holiday horrors. So cool. <laughs> That's fabulous. Yeah, not cool. Yeah. I'm gonna show this one for Sean. Put uh -oh. the Wolfman on your tree. That's right. This is our five-inch terrifier. Uh -huh. So if you pour water, over I've never it, heard that term it gets used before. Bloody. This is my five-inch terrifier. That's right. There's a lot of dick jokes in this video. <laughs> what's a video without a dick joke? <laughs> and what's a, what's a, what's a warehouse without gremlins? Yeah. Oh, look. Oh. That's Kizzy. And this is the, the bandit gremlin. Huh. <laughs> Where's his gun? <laughs> uh, you have gonna talk to Warner Brothers about that. <laughs> they didn't want one. Uh, that's the purse, which we are got. We got you one of those. 
You recognize this guy? Oh. The movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still trying to work out what foolish child would walk up to something that scary looking. Right? <laughs> hey, come on, let's play. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, and he's in a sewer too. Yeah, <laughs> slight flaw in reasoning. That okay. was that was what I loved about Tim was he really was genuinely fun looking when he wanted to be. Yeah. It was like, oh, okay, I'll go over to that. But this guy was just scary. I, that yeah. seemed flawed to me, like, no. This was from 2018. That's the battle scene where he gets shot in the face. Uh, and let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is really cool. So um, Lynn Lugosi, so there are only two Bella Lugosi capes that actually exist. One was buried with Bella and one Lynn's dad, Junior, had, and they gave it to us to replicate one-to-one. -one. Wow, how cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I bet that's going to be a big seller. It's done really well. It's expensive because we replicated it one-to-one. -one. Yeah. yeah, but boy, is it, it, it even has, like, the metal to keep the, the cape up. Yeah. Collar up. Oh, I imagine a bunch of uh, vintage horror fans want one of those. Well, here, you need one of these. So we'll put that in, <laughs> we'll add that to your little stack. All right, you gotta have a knife, come on. Uh, this is kinda cool, you this know, is glow in the week, dark. I oh. signed a whole truckload of those this weekend. They're, uh, they're oh, getting awesome. around. Yeah. Great, I'm happy to hear. What else we got here? Yeah, let's keep going. Oh, there's the 2018 action figure. You have to have one of those, right? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. Isn't that cool? Wow. So that's one six scale. If I, this is the, the outfit from the last Saw movie. And by the way, they're making a new one. Did really? you hear about that? Yeah, yeah that's done. Yeah, it's Saw coming out uh, October. Yep. All right, we'll leave this in your stack. Ten of those you know. babies. Yep. Think about it. Yep. Just keep going. I don't know about you, but I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like walking through all this stuff. Probably I mean, I remember that. when it was like 12 masks. That was the company. That was it. Yeah, that was it. I remember when you were telling me you were thinking about doing it. <laughs> and did I want to be involved? That's right. Well, yeah. you are now because we yeah, got Yeah, not the, the way I should have been. <laughs> this is from a movie called Haunt, and the, the, these were the... I like that film. Made. I did too, and I love these mo these masks. Great color. Yeah, and Nicole, the artist who did this is just fabulous. All of them turned out really cool. This is the, uh, they all had that kind of vintage feel. Yeah. And let me see if I can find my favorite. This one's really cool. This is the ghost. Oh. Yeah. Do you have, um, I, ha I don't know if they're out yet, or do you have here the, um, Chris's the vintage ones he did for ends the uh, the wolf man and and the the cat and and Corey's mask the scarecrow they're in production but I have them they're oh. in production okay yeah they're coming and they're really nice this is from goosebumps hope we could have them by h45 we just oh, announced yeah, yeah, we, we just announced Rowan today as a guest oh cool so he'll be signing a lot of scarecrow masks nice yeah he will this is a uh, um, what was one of our first masks. So this was shock the monster, Top Stone right? Shock Monster. And when we purchased on post, we also got Top Stone. So now we're gonna be bringing back a lot of this stuff. You remember this movie poster? Holy smoke. Yeah, so zombie. this is a, a bust from Zombie. Wow. And a great song by the Cranberries. Yeah. Which one? Oh, it's just the Tramer. Remember this, the, the, the Ben <laughs> Tramer from Whoa! Yeah, yeah, the Ben Tramer mask. How funny. Isn't that cool with the white hair and you just spike it up? You look like Sean and you're good to go. <laughs> well, I'm that, so jealous. Don't look that good. He's kept every hair in place. Me and mine's going. Dude, one day it'll all fall out, I'm sure. Well, you can't grow then trees on a busy street. something new. So Unless the, you want to wear a wig or... I'll put a hat on like you guys. you see this? Yeah. So I haven't this seen it. The carrying case for oh. the House of a Thousand Corpses five-inch action figures. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's that... Nice. Remember the, in the old days, mm, that yeah. corrugated plastic? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Or cardboard, sorry. This is another one from Statue from Dawn of the Dead. That's one problem I've always had, like... How am I gonna carry my House of a Thousand Corpses action figures? Hey, I fixed it. From here to there. Your problem. This is from Freaky. This was a fun little movie. 
Yeah. Did not see that. How's, should, it, how's that one good. sell? Good. Yeah. 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 That one's uh, it. It's got a nice little cult following. I mean, I know. liked the movie. I didn't love the mask. Yeah. I thought the mask could have been better. It could have. But the movie was good. Yeah. H six. Oh yeah. Uh, this is from Silent Night, Deadly Night. Oh, that's cool. You. Yeah. You'd... Let me see that. I haven't seen it. Awesome. We did our our best to faithfully replicate it. Really popular from Goosebumps, the haunted yeah. mask. What else we got? Trick or treat pail. I've seen. Okay, so we'll get you one of these. A couple of those. Yeah. This is something I really like. These um, are all from William Paquette. Oh, those are cool. They were the ghosts of Halloween statues and but, that we did, oh, and here. they're all based on what you know kids wore back in the late 1800s i mean some of that mm -hmm. stuff was just absolutely terrifying yeah, and he made four of them and they're just beautiful or i'd love to see the other two the uh, no i'm sorry we made we made uh three of them three of them so this one there's teddy oh wow isn't that rad dude those are really cool yeah and they all come with these really cool bases and this connects to his nose and i have the actual photo that you get of this. Mm -hmm. I'll show it to you. It's really cool. I used to buy a lot of Bill Paquette's uh, garage kits back in the day. Nice. Yeah, he's, he's a god. Yeah. He's awesome. Oh, uh, from yeah. Ghoulies. Remember him coming out mm -hmm. of we'll pose him coming out of the toilet. <laughs> uh, Fear Street. So uh, Chris gave us these. So these were from Fear Street. How have the Fear Street stuff been selling? The skull does great. And yeah. not not the sack head, huh? I, the, I would say the skull and the Billy face. Because I loved all those designs. Yeah, I thought they were really good. Did yeah. you like the show? I actually did. Yeah, I did too. These were from Game of Thrones. These are the White Walker hands. Oh, wow. Yeah, and we're doing from uh, House of the Dragon. Oh, House of the Dragon. Yeah, you know, the king's face. I haven't watched House of the Dragon. Oh, my God, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> You'll love it. Right, what do we got down here? We got... Oh, these are kind of fun. Um, Tony Gartner did these. Are you oh. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of oversized really injections. <laughs> yeah, he, he does a lot of great stuff with us. Oversized injections. Another yeah. one of those jokes. He's dropping Another them. Another one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is family friendly. This is, this, should... oh, this is waiting for you. This is the glow in the dark version. Oh, but nice. That's in that room for you. Yeah, it's great. You're bringing back glow in the dark. I like it. I Remember it this was guy cool at the time. from American Werewolf. In oh, London. Jack. Oh, yeah. Wow. And this is Reveille from House of a Thousand Horses, which I think it's 30 year anniversary this year. This is definitely a highlight. We do really well with these. These are from Mortal Kombat. So that's Scorpion's mask. For some reason, I thought it was 30, but I, I know it's well, maybe this year. It, I don't know. I'm speaking Doesn't to matter. Rob. This is his little <laughs> Phantom Creep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love Rob. He's great. This is from uh, uh, an old Puppet Master one that we still have mm -hmm. some inventory of. Ghost. Ghost's original. Mm -hmm. Did you like the new album? Uh, the covers one. Uh, is that no, no, no. The, the one before it. The one before it, I, I did. Yeah, I did like too. the covers. I'm a little soft on. <laughs> I, I thought their Maiden cover was great. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to go see them? Yeah, we have tickets to go see them at the Forum. I'll be there, so we'll hang out. Okay. So here's some trick-or-treat tote bags that we do. And we do signs. So that here's a sign for Toxic Avenger. And this is uh, from Gremlins. And the Toy Light Zone. Nice. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, oh, that's Gremlins. My, my apologies. This was Return of the Living Dead. You need to. And Obey. That's what John wants everybody to do. That's right. That's what... This. This is cool. <laughs> Look at this. This is a wood sign. Feel the, the weight on this. That is cool. Isn't that wow. great? Yeah, and the packaging, Sam just killed it. Wow. Isn't that fun? Impressive. Yeah, That's I really nice. like that one. And it's wood. And the other sign is in there for you, the um, silver shamrock one. The when you get... And that's processing. from Toxic Final processing. I've got one. You sent me one. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, this is an original that Justin did. 
do we got here? Um, accessories for the good guy dolls, which you'll see shortly. We also sell, oh, do you have one of these? No, what the yeah, heck is that? It's a wallet, check this out. Oh no. Yeah, and it's, oh no, that's a big. wallet? Yeah, it's a chain wallet. That is very cool. So we'll put that in your Look little bag there. Wow. I actually need a wallet. <laughs> exactly. Isn't that great? All my money's gone, but that is unbelievable. Isn't that cool? You guys have some taste. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. So well, let's put this in your in your bag. All right, my little treat bag. There we go. Let's put it in there. Right. Do you guys have the uh, the uh, Halloween board game ready yet? I have the the um, production samples. Mm -hmm. But the finals are will probably be here next month, and it's fantastic. You're gonna love. It. Well, I know you're a massive gamer. We'll hit that section in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so this is from Halloween Four. This was the poster mask, which was actually from Halloween Two. Mm. It was it was a back lot uh, back uh, lot shot of it. Um, there's a reference for you. Yeah, I, I, I was already there. Okay. I was already thinking. This is one of Justin's kind of takes on Halloween 1 called the Boogeyman. People love every version that we could come up with. And this is from Resurrection, which most people didn't like. Well, but I know, thought it was fun. I, there are collectors, including Mr. Mr. Man behind the camera. <laughs> have them all. I have duplicates and triplicates of every um, last. Hey, I admit it. Somebody. I'm I'm not even a real fan of Resurrection, but yet I just bought one of the melted ones. I screen the used. Mask. Yeah. I thought the mask was really. Yeah, cool. I thought of ever doing that version, like the the, the melted. Yeah, we are gonna do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, now. So this is the um, from this uh, Christopher Lee Curse of Frankenstein Hammer. Oh. I love the Hammer horn. Sure. I, I know it's sacrilege to say it, but I like them as much, if not better, than the original Universal ones. Yeah, why do you say it's sacrilege? Oh, because you know how people are, the purists, right? No, it's fun. Well, hey, Iron Chris, so if you need to scan it, I have I have the screen used. I'm in. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, that feet amazing. This is cool. This is another Iron Maiden mask. Oh, yeah. So, Eddie, he does a different look every album. So we've, we've virtually made every one of They've them. They've never done a clown, Eddie, have they? No, not yet. They should. Yeah, they're going on tour, too. Hmm. There's a Jaws over there. What else have we got that's cool? That's sort of mind Oh, I kind of love here, this. Chris. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a Justin original. Nice. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. What's that one called? Asparagus man. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that because I can't find the tag. No, it's Everett. Everett. Everett, yeah. What else have we got? A lot of fans I know have been asking, I don't know if there's been any update regarding the flashback mask. Yes. So any movement? No. Okay. Yeah. We can leave it at that. I know we'll the story. I yeah. just I just I know I'd be yelled yeah. at if I didn't ask. Yeah. But people can get our H one. Yep. It's also nope. from Mummy. Oh, yeah. From um, uh, Hammer. I just loved anything with Peter Cushing. Like, he had such an incredible personality on screen. But you ought to do a Hammer logo. But, you know. Uh, it's a sign. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. I think people would go for that. Return of the Living Dead. You probably see mm -hmm. her I all over the I place. I see Linnea yeah. constantly. What's yeah. this old man one? That's an old one. And these are Guitar Man. Yeah, and they're trying to get funding right now to um, do the new movie, a new uh, remake. How soon until you're going to have to change the name of that mask <laughs> due to political correctness? Right. This is a, a pig mask from from Saw. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? And they are coming out with a new one. And here's Billy. Yep. And then we've got a moving mouth Billy that I really like. This was, this was an underrated movie, too. This is from Rob Zombie 31. Yeah, I, I you know, I I enjoyed 31 quite a bit. I did, too. I mean, it was a low-budget, fun film. Scooby-Doo. <clears throat> <Love it. laughs> 
<laughs> Have you got you guys do the Rob Zombie Monster masks, right? Or, we do. Yeah. Yeah. How are those doing? Okay. They're okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They're they're going to be shipping really soon. This is uh, from the Bone Slayer. So that's their mascot. We've got some costumes over here. Their mask got. Their mascot. Uh -huh. You clever boy. Oh, which one's that one? <laughs> mascot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's Rocky. You're dangerously <laughs> close to doing dad jokes. Dude, I, I am the master of dad jokes, and they will tell you. <laughs> oh, this is from The Creature Walks Among Us. So that was the... I think that the third movie in uh, the... Um, the creature trilogy. Creature trilogy. The Glenn Strange Frankenstein. Yeah. I always thought Glenn looked really good as Frank. Yeah, that's. I, I have in my uh, dining room the, the the poster, the tops poster from that's in the kids' bedroom in the fun house of the Glenn Strange Frankenstein. Nice. Yeah. Wolfman Cheney. Yep. I also have the Wolfman Cheney right next to it. Nice. But the, they were the two limited tops posters they made. They that were mail-ins. Cool. When did you pick those up? Uh, a few months ago, dude. They were not cheap. I've been looking for them forever. Oh, yeah. That. My good. buddy Billy Kirkus had a set, good. and he, you know, I'm sure you've yeah, heard of Billy. Well, Billy's got every. Other. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And he, he's the one who clued me in on what they were, because we've been looking for them forever. And it was a mail-in only Topps trading card thing. So cool. Yeah. I'm surprised he departed with it. No, he didn't. Oh. I, I it, Finding out what it was helped me find them. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you just kept searching Frankenstein poster. Good you luck. You'll never find it. Yeah. You know, somebody at the show last weekend told me that uh, Fright Night 2 was gonna get a legitimate uh, Blu-ray, or not Blu-ray. 4K, probably. Yeah. Shout Factory, maybe? Hmm. With, uh, I don't think so. With the, original, with the original Fright Night as a box set. That would be very hmm. cool. I, I haven't those, heard. If, if we ever got it out there, there would be some mask opportunities. Well, there's a teaser for you. We're yeah. doing the original Fright Night. Oh. We're gonna use Russ's, uh, have you seen his Jerry Dandridge? Russ Lukic. Oh, good. Good. Yes, I have, Real yes. Good. Yeah. What else have we got here? The, oh, these do. These are our five inch action figures from House of a Thousand Corpses. What's really fun about these, see how it's got an extra limb here? Yeah. So if you get all of them, they come with a limb and you can build tiny. Oh. Ah. Yeah. And, Only and there was a case to carry them in. Oh, wait. Right. There <laughs> is. <laughs> It's right over there on aisle 44. Yeah. That's right. Here's some of our wall decor. So oh, we wow. have a Halloween 4. I know we have Halloween 3, which I'll give you when oh, I yeah. find it. That's right. There's Krampus. There's the Misfits. There's Halloween 3 for you. <laughs> There's Child's Play. They Live. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know what? That is Tommy. That picture. Oh, okay. Well, that picture well, is Tommy. Well, cool. Then we gotta get you. Because that's you coming through the kitchen door. And we gotta get oh, you yeah. that. Yep. How about the, the creep show? Yep. <laughs> Chucky, Return of Living Dead, Nightbreed. This is from Dead Silence. He looks kind of thoughtful here, you know. Yeah. He's not really thinking about killing people. He's yeah. He's trying to work he's, out. He's the, like, should I? He's should I let her go? Lunch. Israel yeah. Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> What do we got over here? All right, let's make this turn. These are all Myers action figures, witch wow. boards, and which board from the movie? Which board? The witch board from Halloween Three. So oh, okay. Witch board. Yeah. Gotcha. I'll show you some more stuff over here. Speaking of board stroke, games, that was a stroke of genius. All right. The Ouija board. Who knew? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Zephro knew. <laughs> What else have we got here? That blew my mind when I saw that. Oh, cool. I'm glad you're going to have one. What do we got here? Oh, that's the Universal Mon uh, Frankenstein statue. This is the H2016 scale. Our wear pups. We've got... Let's see, a lot of this has inner packs. Uh, these are the ghost, nameless school ornament. You know, Chris, I can see you <laughs> when you're about... 85. <laughs> with 10 more factories. It's your mega size, it. and you're over there. This is, this is, that's why. And, this is and he's bitter, and he's like, These children. We need to get the children back. Yeah, this is Frankenstein. Yeah. A, a trick on the children. Another ornament. Uh, 
uh, and his face will look like one of these masks by magnets. that point. No, this is what happens after after the, the, the big giveaway. And they pull the masks off. They look like Chris. They look like the mask that was in his office. That's right. Yeah. I think we've got a winner. Chucky. Look at that. Yep. Skull. That from Garrett Zima's uh, collection as yeah. well. Some more magnets for Chucky. What's your shirt size? XL. XL. Let's see what we got here. We got an XL right there. Oh, wow. Look at that. That one looks cool. And I think I'm cool. cool deal. I have an XL for. See what size this is. That's a too big. You'll be swimming in that. Uh, I think we're getting them all reprinted right now. Um, over here, believe it or not, is soaps. Soap. Yeah. So we sell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sell soap. Wow. From Krampus. They're and cleaning up like here, Tommy. Christmas. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on fire. These were PPE masks oh. that nobody wants anymore. What are they? They're the, the oh, you, you know these yeah. guys, but nobody wants these anymore because yeah. nobody liked wearing. Well, see, them. that's the thing. Sit on those for about twenty years, and they're gonna. There's gonna be like a Here's you know, Halloween one. A vent, yeah, people will will like. Hey, remember Halloween. when we had to wear masks? And right. then we'll, hey, there was this time, you yeah. know, when we had to put these on. Yeah. Look at this. Check I it out. Think uh, he's still going to buy them. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Yeah. I walk into a crowded room. This goes on still. So don't do crack. <laughs> cool shirt for you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's go over here and see what we got. These are our enamel pins. I think you have a set of enamel pins. I do not. I'm, I'm wild about pins. All right. I'll get you your set. With for the he is three. crazy about pins. It's you know, here. when I was working all the time as a director, I wore a different pin every day to wow. work. This, these are cool. That one's cool. Oh, look, here's the, here's the poster. Yep. John Carpenter just demonetized this video. Your pumpkin. Oh boy, I can tell we're getting near the air freshener section. I can smell it. Yeah, have one of those. Too bad this isn't in smell of vision I was gonna put them in your, your bucket. Oh my bucket. Yeah, so here's your, uh, your pumpkin, your shields or shamrock, your witch, your skull, and your TV pumpkin. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? I'm covered. And then these are air fresheners. Can't live without air fresheners. I think we've got... I've done okay without them. <laughs> there ought to be a, a, some sort of aroma tie-in. Burnt pumpkin or something. All right, so here's your, your air fresheners. Candy apple scented. There you go. All right. Now we're coming over here. We're gonna smell we're gonna burning flesh. Under here. Oh, you have to duck. Okay. And this is my embarrassment of uh, this is my personal tabletop gaming collection. Has uh, it gotten smaller? No, it's gotten bigger. Really? For some reason I thought it was even bigger than that. Yeah, it's it's pretty much out of control. Yeah, this is a You need to step it up. Uh, you need to step it up. I am aware of that. Yeah. A lot of these designer games, you know, they just don't make that many. So they're, they're typical production ones, like 3,000. And then when they're done, they're done? And then they're a fortune on eBay. Yeah. Hmm. But I collect them like books. Like, so I collect des designers. So like anything Emerson Matsuchi designs or Eric Lang, you know, like... You gotta have it. Gotta have it. It's like the next chapter of the book. And speaking of games, there's some tabletop games over there. This is uh, Blood Orders, such a really fun vampire game. And this is uh, Nightmare Productions. Since you're such a big gamer, have you ever designed one yourself? I haven't. Well, well, okay, so yes and no. I've written modules for Dungeons & Dragons, mm -hmm. which are adventures like these. 
but I haven't designed a tabletop game yet. But I do have, I do have some in the I have some in your in the head. brain. Yeah. This is the Stay ultimate tuned. Chucky doll. Stay this tuned. Zombie Mania is a fun little Yahtzee dice game. Uh, this is a really fun game where you you fire, you set up your your uh, zombies and your own landscape, and you try and shoot the other opponent zombies with rubber bands. <laughs> Is really good. This is really fun. Troll Fest, where you're a rock band made up of trolls, elves, dwarves, and vampires touring the countryside, and then it all culminates at the annual Troll Fest event. Troll Fest. Yeah. Of course. yeah, we're making a sequel to that called Troll Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> that should be Trollific. Yeah. This is. Oh, he scores again. Oh yeah. man, he another bad. He's <laughs> Happy Death Day. Yep. Baby wow. face. Yeah, Tony gave us the original mold for that. Ooh, creepy. What else have we got? We're getting to the end. These are the accessory packs for the action figure for Michael Myers. What kind of groovy, like, exclusives or, or, or like previews you could give us on something, stuff that's coming? Got some really cool Texas Chainsaw Massacre 12 inch coming out. Oh. Yeah. I've got a question for you. Sure. Are you making silver shamrock medallions with the works on the back? No, but that would be cool. I think people would buy that. Yeah. I know they would. Yeah, they I used love to sell them. Pens. I used to have a couple. Lying I've got a. I've got a quite a few left. If you need one. Well, cool. I could, yeah. I could oh, you one. mean the with the, the with, power chips? With yeah, with the. Oh, we do have those. Yeah, we yeah. do have them. And then they're on the back of the mask. But do they have? Do they actually have the circuit board? They thing? don't have the circuit board. That's, that's what. That's yeah. what people want. I agree. Yeah, that's, uh, especially and, if they really do what the movie says they do. Yeah, I've got Which a couple should. of I would give them. To. That would cost extra. Yeah. Let's get your your uh, mask here. Uh huh. And your knife. And we'll go back to the conference room, and I better give you a bag at this point. <laughs> Just take one of those. Hey, one of these would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> or, but why, why stop at the package, Jack, when we can have the... Yeah, that like and that. Orange one. That one's good. There's our wear cup. And all of this stuff is staging out. We've got six soft doors. Yeah. It's good. It will start to get really crazy here in the next month. Because it's when we start moving stuff out for the Halloween season. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine that you guys probably do pretty good business in it Halloween time. It doesn't do, it doesn't do too good. I'm not, reason, I, I'm not that sharp, but I, I picked up on that. I'm back. Hey, puppy. White shadow. He's a big chicken. You, you did okay, though. Okay. <laughs> and that's a really nice poster right there. Oh yeah, that was that was mine. <laughs> the Thirty Years of Terror. Oh yeah, that one is cool. Yeah. Oh, and I've got this in uh, Teresa's <laughs> office. Check this out. Hey. <laughs> got some goodies. This one you'll like. Yep. Got some swag. That's right. This is, uh, this is an original. Okay. My old buddy. This is an original Ooh. right here. Oh. Ooh, good one. Yeah. Yeah. What's oh. that? What's that? Um, and here's Blood Moon. He's a new oh. mask. Oh, that's cool. awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's just expensive because of that. So much fur hand laid, but it's the bomb. And then this is uh, um, the one-to-one -one scale talking Billy puppet. Oh, talking. Yeah. Um, I, got, I can't remember where his switch is, but he does talk. His mouth and his eyes yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, I can stick this stuff in my new, where'd it go? My new brief. And what do we got now? Oh, this is a new mask from the movie The Mummy. Uh, Brendan Fraser moment. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's a pretty underrated fit. Well, I mean, actually, I like the actor made the important. important. Yeah. And there you go. That's it. Fantastic, Chris. That's us. So let's go back 
to the conference room and get, get the rest of the stiff. Look at that ad right there. It's all you. You like that? Did you pull uh, <laughs> locations for that? Which one? Anything that you took from the warehouse, did you pull locations? I'll take this year, I think is, say no. Did I get this from you? But. <laughs> no, I did. I got this from you and then got it rehaired. What, me? This is yours. The H2O? Yeah. 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 And then Looks Justin good. rehaired it with human hair. Mm -hmm. I've, I'm sending this out for a hair job too. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Is that one of his? Like yeah. that's a like a stage worn kind of thing. It is. Really? Yeah. Very nice. Isn't that awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. Cool. Amazing. All right. Wow. We. You want me to hit stop on this? I, I think yeah. Or we're at our we at the end of our tour. This is the end. Beautiful friend. And where can people buy all this great stuff? At Trick or Treat Studios or your local costume and collectible stores. Or any store that has sense, right? That's and good right. taste. Wow, look at that. Right, cool. Let's put yeah, that yeah. on and obey. Yeah. Buy. Consume. Yeah, you need the glasses. I know, the glasses would be cool.